प्रोग्रेसिव अप्रैल एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन आई कैन नेवर रेसिस्ट अ कॉल फ्रॉम एन एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन बिकॉज आई हैव बीन एसोसिएटेड विद सच इंस्टीट्यूशन थ्रू आउट एंड हैव ऑलवेज टेकन अ कीन इंटरेस्ट इन एजुकेशन आई वॉज देअर फोर हैप्पी to accept your invitations it is a pleasure to be in your midst and to confer degrees on many of the students assembled here you are fortunate indeed to receive education in the kanya mahavidyalaya for this institution occupies an important place in this state and has made a remarkable contribution to the advancement of our women this institution was founded many years ago by a true social person who was inspired by lofty and sacred ideals of emancipation of women and national advancement and who had genuine reverence for women hood we have in our country two types of educational institutions those established by our english rulers for the achievement of their own ends and those founded independently by patriots and nationalists with a view to reviving our civilization and rebuilding our cultural traditions the kanya mahavidyalaya was founded many years ago in pursuance of these sacred ideals and those of you who are entering life after having completed your education in such an institutions are really fortunate you have obtained this higher degree of course but to have done so from this institution should be a treasure of your life which must add to your laurels those of you who have received their degrees are now stepping out of limited sphere of the gurukul into the vast arena of life arena of activity and struggle you have on your shoulders heavy responsibilities but i am confident that your experience and education will enable you to bear them with grace so far you were students now you will lead a practical life and you have to march ahead in the face of multifarious problems i hope the education you have received here will give you strength and energy to face them as responsible citizens of an independent country but for that you should have a clear picture of what you are going to do in life i believe you all know that women occupied a position of great importance and dignity in ancient india that they played a an enviable role in domestic and social life and made a splendid contribution to an all round development of society by virtue of their ingenuity intellect and sacrifice i am saying all this to bring home to you that the women is an incarnation of div- divinity a sustainer a creative energy which conduces to the growth and welfare of human society by virtue of this creative power you can work and outside the home for an all round progress of society thus your responsibility is commensurate with your power i attach great importance to the education 
of girls for these and similar reasons however noble be our ideals and whatever system of government we establish however liberal and equitable be our economic and social philosophy we cannot bring lasting peace and prosperity to our country unless the physical and mental make up of our coming generation has sound foundation i therefore hold that women can play a much more vital role in the home than in the factory or in the office this however does not mean that i want them to be confined within the four walls of the house along their domestic life they can and should participate successfully in various social activities to which they are naturally and equally entitled but real freedom and liberty only mean that the women employs all her facilities not only for her individual development but also for the total development of the society leading ultimately to the welfare of humanity at large wherein it included her individual self also according to the ancient traditions and lofty ideals of indian womanhood you have not only to educate yourself but also to progress thereafter in all directions as the companions of man after freedom now you have also to play your part in the work of national reconstruction this is possible only when we amend our present system of education to suit our purpose here also our country is faced with conflicting ideologies the modern reformists those who style themselves as progressive fists contend that same system of education they told that the women should be treated on a basis of equality not only in the domain of education but in all fields and walks of life that she should have complete social freedom and should be able to participate in all activities and occupations as an equal partner of men these people want that the system of education should also be modeled accordingly diametrically opposed in the view of the orthodox camp thus we have today conflicting ideologies regarding the education of women we have naturally to consider carefully which of these two will suit us better and help in the advancement of our culture and civilization at this time